My name is Jenna Ortega, and this is the Wired Autocomplete interview. I'm very excited. I, I love props. Is Jenna Ortega. Is Jenna Ortega related to Gina Rodriguez? Unfortunately, no. People might be asking if I'm related to Gina because I play the younger version of her in Jane the Virgin. It was one of the first jobs that I ever did. And I also think people always love when people see each other in projects that are related and they're actually related. It's like a nice fun fact. I'm giving no one that satisfaction with this answer. Is Jenna Ortega playing Wednesday Adams? I actually am. I've never played someone that has been portrayed before and especially so flawlessly. It's weird to, to do something that people have already created expectations and ideas of and still try to do something different that doesn't stray too far from the character but also puts her in a different world and atmosphere. There's a lot of pressure, I think. Is Jenna Ortega a Libra? Yes, I am. And that's about all I could tell you. I don't know much about horoscopes, but living in LA, I do know that I'm Libra and I have been told, you're such a Libra. And we're apparently really indecisive, and I am. Is Jenna Ortega and Maddie friends? I'm assuming they're talking about the beautiful, wonderful baby angel face, Maddie Ziegler. And the answer is yes. She's one of my greatest friends ever. She was somebody that I instantly clicked with. We did a movie called The Fallout a couple years back. And um, I feel like Maddie and I are the same person in different fonts. She's such a weirdo. And I'm a weirdo in like the, uh, used to perform autopsies on little animals when I was younger, <laughs> like little lizards that I found that were dead in my backyard. She's weirdo in the sense that she breaks out into characters or movements or make faces. Always comes in at the perfect time. Her comedic timing is so underappreciated. She, she makes me laugh. We have a good time. We're really weird together. Jenna Ortega. Who does Jenna Ortega play in you? I play um, Ellie and I'm obnoxious. I'm in his business way too much. I'm definitely an, an LA bitch. She's also very creative and she's a bit of an artist and I see directing in her future and she does as well. Does Jenna Ortega do her own stunts? Yes, I love to. I give stunt coordinators such immense anxiety. I will throw myself on the floor, off a wall, I'll drive cars at 90 to 100 miles per hour with stunt brakes that I've never used before in my life. Why is Jen Ortega in New Zealand shooting that film X? And I, I was there for maybe about three months. I was only in the North Island. We shot in Wellington. I love that I, I genuinely would move there. I love their appreciation for their culture, the Maori people, and how they make conscious effort to keep it alive. And also some of the sweetest people I've ever met. There's people that I met during that that short shoot that I, I still am in contact with to this day. Does Jen Ortega survive in X? The movie's been out long enough. I get a gunshot to the head. Yeah, I just had to lay in the corner dead with a prosthetic on my face that gave me a cut. And it was funny because when I met Tim Burton for my Wednesday audition, I had just finished doing that. So I had stage blood and glycerin sweat in my hair and a massive cut on my face and had been up for over 24 hours. I got on the Zoom and he actually laughed. It made me laugh. I thought it was, I thought it was in here. What does General Ortega look like now. I look like Michael Caine in a Jenna Ortega scramble suit. What is Jenna Ortega, what is Jenna Ortega first movie? It was a movie called Afterwards with Marcia Gay Harden and she plays a suicidal librarian who goes to Costa Rica and she falls in love with a man there who has a daughter and I am that daughter. It also was my first time on a set so it's learning what a gaffer is and what a DP is and what this color tape they put on the floor is supposed to mean. Oh, you want me to stand there? You want me to do whatever? I was just kind of a sponge. I was just taking it all in for the first time. What is Jenna Ortega? They're so mysterious. I'm so, I'm so anxious. I just want to know. What is Jenna Ortega new movie? It could either be a film I did a couple months ago called Finest Kind with actors Toby Wallace, Ben Foster, Tommy Lee Jones, or it could be the second installment of the reboot of the Scream franchise. Scream 6, Scream 6 -um is what I'm calling it. And that will be out in March in theaters next year. What is Jenna Ortega doing now? This interview, this is what I'm doing right now. I just finished a film in Atlanta called Miller's Girl. And yeah, now I'm just promoting this, this, this Netflix show. It's called Wednesday. <laughs> Oh, it's such a cruel world. How Jenna Ortega? How is Jenna Ortega? It's been a long time since someone asked me that. It's, um, I just refer to myself as it. 
truthfully speaking, I'm in a little bit of a better place than I was in, in the beginning of the year. And that's a, that's a really wonderful feeling. And I've recently worked on jobs that I had very memorable experiences on. So I'm, I'm very fortunate. I'm, I'm a very privileged girl. How can I meet Jenna Ortega? I'm going to a Comic-Con later. This probably won't be out before then. But I walk a lot. Maybe I'll be on the street. How did Jenna Ortega become an actress? I begged my mom for years. I first wanted to start acting when I was six years old. My parents said, no way in hell. One day my mom got me this monologue book that she got from Barnes and Nobles to shut me up, like here, play. And um, I did a dramatic monologue for her where I was hysterically crying and she didn't know where it was coming from or what I was talking about. And then I told her, this is from the monologue book that you got me. This is, this is what you told me to do. She had me do it again and she put it on her Facebook and put, oh, my, my little drama queen, whatever. And I guess an old friend of hers from high school was good friends with the casting director. So she said, okay, just for a little bit. And now I'm 20 years old and I've been doing it for over half of my life. How old was Jenna Ortega in Stuck in the Middle? I was 12, I wanna say. And I finished it when I was 16. It doesn't even feel like it was a part of my lifetime. I feel like I'm a different person every day, but definitely every two years. It's an entire shift, something that my friends even acknowledge, where my music taste is different, style, whatever. How tall is Jenna Ortega? I'm six foot four. I've got my head in the clouds. No, I'm actually, I'm, I'm five foot one, or maybe a, a touch less, but I, I, I think that's what I am. That's what I say. Is Jenna Ortega vegan? I was vegan for a really long time. Um, but I stopped being vegan when I went to Romania to shoot Wednesday, actually, because the food is very different there, and I don't think that I was meeting my nutrition requirements, so I started eating fish again, so I'm currently pescatarian. Can Jenna Ortega sing? Poorly. I've, I've sang for jobs before in the past, and, and I'm happy to, but I would never want to make a career out of it. I would love to be a musical composer. I'd love to put out neo-composing albums or things like that, very ambient noise. Can Jenna Ortega play the cello? Actually, I learned to play the cello for Wednesday. I started working on the cello about two months before we started shooting. I probably couldn't play too well now just because I've been away from home so much uh, working and it is something that I want to continue to pursue. I have immense respect for anybody who plays the cello. I think it's such a delightful instrument. Can Jenna Ortega dance? if you want me to. I'm not against it. I love a good time. I love to dance. I love to go out and dance and do it with friends. And as someone, I love music. I think there's so much to be found in music. And you learn a lot, not only about your own personal taste and how far you're willing to, to extend yourself, but then also about different cultures and, and what is celebrated in other places in the world. And I think that that's a really beautiful thing. Is Jenna Ortega Kenny Ortega's daughter? Kenny and I actually talked about this. We met at a, an event a couple of years ago. Kenny Ortega is an incredibly successful choreographer and director and is very big in the musical scene. I would love to be related to him. I think we were making jokes about him possibly being a cousin or an uncle. But again, I only met him once, so I feel a little weird calling a stranger uncle. This is definitely one of my preferred methods of interviews, I think. So thanks for asking really weird and sometimes basic questions.